hello guys this is code and code and this uh, in this lecture we are going to solve this problem longest path in a tree and it follows from the previous lecture in which i have told you how to calculate the diameter of a tree the longest path in a tree is actually the length of the diameter so the problem is you are given an animated undirected tree and you have uh, you have to output the length of the path which is maximum in length basically and uh, this problem is taken from spodge and you are given n nodes and n minus 1 edges if you are given a tree with n nodes there are n minus 1 edges always so for example the input is 3 indicating there are 3 nodes 1 is connected to 2 2 is connected to 3 so the longest path is of 2 length here length is being calculated using the number of edges you have to traverse to going from one node to another so to going from uh, node 1 to 3 you have to traverse two edges that is 1 2 and 2 3 that is why the longest path that is the diameter is of, uh, is of length 2 that is why the output is 2 so basically we have to implement that we have studied in the previous lecture to recap what we have studied uh, we know how we are going to solve this problem first we would choose any arbitrary node as a root and run a dfs and find the farthest node now using that farthest node we would run a dfs again and then find the longest path the longest path from that node would be the length of the uh, diameter and that is what we have to print so i have already explained all of this in the previous uh, previous video so just check out that video so you know how we do it first of all we would create an adjacency list that is vector of int vi is vector of int and since the number of elements are 10 to the power 4 i have taken an array of 10 to the power 4 and then we take an integer array of the same size to keep track of the visited nodes <coughs> sorry then we have n a n b oh sorry n and the number of nodes and then there will be n minus 1 edges so n there are n minus 1 edges so we run a loop from 1 to n minus 1 each time we read an edge and we create an adjacency list so in the adjacency list of b we insert a and it's then and in the adjacency list of a we insert b so now we have uh, what we are going to do we are going to run uh, dfs starting uh, we are taking node 1 as root you can take any node as root but keeping that thing in mind that if you choose you write 2 every time that you need to make sure that at least 2 elements are there at least 2 nodes are there you can choose any node but run for running uh, for running first dfs but the problem is uh, that node must be present at least it is not like you each time you are running a dfs from node 10 but in input there are only three nodes so that doesn't make any sense and since in the input there would be at least one node so uh, taking node 1 as root makes sense okay so what this dfs is going to do uh, as you are seeing there are two parameters first one is node and another one it's distance from root since root is at zero distance from root that is why we are passing distance zero so let me write this would be node and this would be distance as soon as you reach into dfs what you do we make this node as visited and now since using this dfs we have to find the farthest node uh, for this we uh, for that we need to have two variables max g that is maximum distance that we have found till now and max node the node which is at the farthest distance from the root so initially before going into dfs let's initialize the maximum distance to be minus one indicating that we haven't found any valid node till now so as soon as you reach you know this node this node is at d distance from the root and since we have to find the farthest so we would check if the distance of this is uh, uh, is greater than the max distance if that is the case we would update the max distance to be this distance and then update the max node as well to be this node of course this node's distance that is d is greater than 
the previous max so we would update the max and also the maximum node and now we would run a loop we would traverse each element in the adjacency list of this current node and if that child is not visited if that child is not visited we would make a dfs call to that child passing distances d plus one i've explained this why uh, how to calculate distance from in a rooted tree uh, i've explained this in a lecture of calculating a uh, single source shortest path using dfs in a tree so we are using single source shortest path to calculate the distance of each node from the root so if if this node's distance d is current than the previous maximum so we would update the maximum and the maximum node would be this node so now after running this dfs max d or oh sorry max node would have uh, the farthest node in it so what we have to do we have to run a dfs from the maximum node so we would run a dfs from the max node and passing the distance zero because this time root would be max node and since root is max node so distance of max node from max node is of course zero that is why we are passing zero but now and this time what we are doing we are going to calculate the maximum distance of any node from new root that would be our uh, what we call it uh, distance of diameter but before that we have to clear max d value of max d so we would again initialize max d with minus one now after running the second dfs max d would contain the distance of the node which is farthest from the new root that is this root so max d would contain the length of the diameter and hence all we have to print is max d so let's compile and see if we get any error this is the input the input is three one two two three answer is zero because i have missed something so in the adjacency list of a we are inserting b in the adjacency list of b we are inserting a that's cool max d is minus one okay max d again minus one okay okay if d is greater than max d mm -hmm. okay everything looks fine d is greater than max d max d is equals to d and max node is equals to current node yeah oh sorry uh before going to the second dfs we know we we have run a dfs and now all the node are actually visited so when you run second dfs since the visited array contains one for each node that is why before going to second dfs we have to clear the visited array so in the visited array of each node we would make it unvisited again so that our dfs in second time can run if every node is visited then this function would not run second time so that is why we have to run a loop till n and we have to clear the visited array so it doesn't contain any value from previous dfs so run this and this time we should get two Sorry. so keep that thing in mind if you are running multiple dfs's you need to clear the visited array and in some cases you also have to clear adjacency list so let's just submit this solution and see ah, if it passes if it gets an ac or not so here we go yeah the code is accepted so this this is how you solve this problem uh finding the diameter of a tree so i hope you have learned something from it so, and if you haven't or if you are having any query any problem just leave a comment in the video so thank you guys for watching and keep coding thank you